articulate a little bit further back on my tongue, you know, like a centimeter, a centimeter and a half further away from the tip against the roof of my mouth. Which is, uh, there are a couple of definitions for that anchor tonguing, although that's stupid because my tongue isn't anchored, I don't have it super glued down behind my bottom teeth, you know, it's like, it's, it's kind of floating, the tip goes where, where it goes, uh, depending on the range that I'm in. Um, in, on, in the low register, it doesn't even touch the bottom teeth. And then in the upper register, it touches and even kind of comes up and... Maybe part of the tongue even contacts the bottom lip or something like, you know, in the extreme upper register. Um, but, you know, but the tip of the tongue isn't really my concern. It's not, I'm not even thinking about it. I'm just thinking about where the articulation happens, which is a little bit further back from the tongue. But lots of people do lots of things. There are small variations because everybody's tongue is different and everybody's mouth is different and the shape and is, I mean, it's always different. So the, the important thing is that balance between air pressure and tongue tension. What is the bare minimum amount of tension necessary in the tongue? And you'll find that the answer to that relates to how much air pressure are you using. With more air pressure, you can use a really soft tongue. But if you don't have very much air pressure, then you have to use more tension in the top. So it's it's always there's a balance between those two elements. Surf the wave, you know. You got air enough air pressure coming through, and just figure out how to just you know get that little movement of the tongue that, that's enough to block the air for just a split second, just a millisecond. Get in the way, get out of the way. You know, just the, the cobra strike. You know, of course, I've, I've advocated whistling your notes. Which means that behind the articulation, which only happens 1% of the time, the other 99% of the time should be a good sounding vowel, I, th I feel. Yeah. does allow me the fastest and cleanest articulation, then just turn up the metronome as, as fast as you can. And then just you know keep keep going with the five note articulation. And when you feel comfortable at that tempo, turn it up another two clicks and another two clicks and another two. Like you know turning up the heat of the water with the lobsters in the pot. When it's a little too fast, how do you get the tongue to, to speed up just a little bit? And the answer is always uh, less tension. When we're articulating slower, we usually have the, the tendency to, to use much more tension in the tongue. But when you're talking about going as fast as possible, then you have to really sink or swim. And every two clicks, it's another opportunity to sink or swim. Eventually, it becomes too fast, and that's, instead of it becomes something more like triplets. You know, and then you know that you've gone too far. Right? You know, and then it's like, okay, things are getting a little weird here. Let me in and basically just stay at the maximum tempo where you can cleanly, you know, perfectly articulate. One e and a two, three e and a four, and. Um, and just try to push that tempo another two clicks every time, and you will get your tongue to relax. Sometimes it, it takes a little while, and you can't just do it on a middle G, you have to do it like in all registers, at least every C and every G, so that you can generally get into every part of your range. Um, because the vowel will be so different. It's instead of it'll be and that's a different movement of the tongue, you know. Um, it's, it's a different range of motion for the tongue. So it's important to do this in all registers. And the same thing goes for double tonguing too, you know. I mean, that's articulate enough. And that is a super soft, you know, like the tongue is comparatively lazy, you know, versus and, and it's enough. Forward in your mouth, can you make the, 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 the articulation? 
And the closer that you can get those articulations, the, the more even they'll sound. You know, step one would be one note. <laughs> step two. particular shape that creates that particular volume in your mouth that's really, really nice for that note to happen. So, um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's it, basically, I think. That, that those are the, the big points that'll, that'll make a really big difference with your articulation. You should pick whatever kind of articulation feels natural for you, um, but I would say test it with this.